So we saw that puppeteering can do in the previous tutorial, and now you're back for more. So let's get started. So we already have a Crazy Talk script open. Notice that the lip shapes were all loaded by the lip syncing technology. To get started with puppeteering, let's click on the puppeteering icon to open up the puppeteering panel. The puppeteering panel has three sections, solo feature, puppet profile, and full face feature. Let's begin with solo feature. We can click on the reset button to clear the selection. Then we can click and choose the muscle groups that we wish to move, such as the jawbone. Then we can press the preview button, and when you're ready, you can press the space bar, and we can animate the jawbone. Then we can deselect the jawbone, and maybe select the eyes, and make the eyes move. Or deselect the eyes, then click on the eyelids, then we can control the blinking by pressing the mouse button. We can also choose only one part as well, such as the left or the right eyebrow, and move only one eyebrow as opposed to moving both. Solo feature is best used for whenever we are trying to enhance specific parts of the spoken script, like when our character is giving a speech. Now another method is using full face control. First we need to choose a puppet profile that acts as a basic guidelines for the puppeteering sequence. So if you choose Wicked, you'll be puppeteering the face for Wicked movements. Notice each puppet profile has six corresponding full face controls which automatically have certain solo features as selected. The advantages of full face control is faster animation of that type of profile for the general full face control persona. So once we have a puppet profile selected, then choose one of the six full face features, we can move the whole selected face features by just pressing the preview button, moving our mouse around. Now let's go a step further to show how we can add in layering for our puppeteering. If we loaded an audio of music and song, then the lip sync would have created lip sync keys that were for the musical notes and not for the lyrics. So we should clear out the lip sync track, and now we can use puppeteering to record each part of the face then layer them together to create an animation for singing the song. So let's select the jawbone, then this time let's press the record button, and now when we press the space bar, we'll be recording the animation live. Each time we hear the lyrics of the song, we can open the mouth, and on notes that are very long, we can hold the mouth open and create a perfect expression. When we're done recording, press the space bar. Now we can select another part of the face and then record over the same exact area that we recorded before to create a layering of the two animations. We can also move the head. Here's a tip, make slow movements. You don't want your character's head to jerk around uncontrollably, unless, of course, you want your character to do that. We can also do the eyes. A tip here is to first record the head and the eyelid movement, then record the eyes. What you're trying to do mainly is keep the eyes slightly focused on the audience, but at dramatic points, have the eyes roll away or dramatically look to another direction. Just like with a key editor, we can also control transforms, but with puppeteering, I will just make slight transforms using only the zoom. The animations of each facial feature were layered together to create one animation sequence. You can continue to add layer after layer to create a very unique and precise animation. And that is how we can use puppeteering to create facial expressions and animation for our characters.